you guys are probably more familiar with Zoom than most of us are with all the distance learning and all that happening lately. Um, quick Zoom guide, feel free to annotate, um, you know, if you need to show your reaction, we like this for to be interactive. If you're comfortable, um, be on video. I really appreciate that as well. Um, so what we'll be doing today, let me introduce myself. I'm Shruti Karimada. I'm a senior recruiter at LinkedIn. I've been at LinkedIn close to a year and um, love it here. And the reason I joined LinkedIn is for the impact it gives. And I'd be very happy to share what we can do, um, you know, for all you guys that are um, the workforce of the future, if you will, right, um, on what LinkedIn can provide for you, right? Um, little intro on junior achievement. On to you, Lena. Yeah, our organization covers 26 counties in Northern California, all the way from Mendocino up north down to Monterey, down, uh, down in Monterey, down south. Next slide. And our, um, prog our educational programs um, cover three pillars, uh, including work readiness, financial literacy, and entrepreneurship. Next slide. And here's a list of just some of our programs that we have. Um, we, of course, we have other uh, additional programs that um, can vary from length, um, one hour to maybe even semester long. And some of our, we even have some programs that are A through G uh, approved and where students can qualify for college credits. And okay. this is a short icebreaker. Let's see what you guys are really into, right? Um, maybe you can annotate, you know, or um, maybe you can do reactions, um, you know, clap for Meta and celebrate for TikTok. You're a quiet bunch. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. Um, would you rather be social, hang out with friends, or be by yourself online? Show me some reactions. Or into more serious stuff, do you like creative stuff? Do you like designing, or would you like coding? Right. <clears throat> My uh, role here um, today on this call is for you to get to know LinkedIn better, right? LinkedIn is all about you, our community, and helping you connect to opportunity. And um, definitely, it takes a village to get where you are, definitely in your career. So we went out and talked to real members of how they use the professional community um, on LinkedIn to define, to reach their definition of success in their careers, right? Um, a little bit about LinkedIn, our vision when we were established was to create economic opportunity for every member of the global workforce. And we do this with our mission of being able to connect the world's professionals and make them more productive and successful, right? So why LinkedIn? Um, we definitely would love for you to connect to opportunity. And here's a little video of our interns and they'll tell you in their own words. LinkedIn's just not the ordinary company. They treat you like an employee and they give you responsibility and they give you ownership and it makes you feel empowered. The projects I worked on were actually shipped to production. After my internship, I went back home, showed my friends and family, oh, hey, I worked on this project and you can try it out. For every piece of work that an intern delivers, you are able to understand what the impact is and that's very gratifying. For me, when I come to work, I know that I can be my authentic self. I know the people that I come to work with are not only my coworkers, but also my friends and they truly do care about me as a person. You see a lot of people who are similar to you, have similar stories, similar background, and overall gives you that sense of belonging. Diverse perspectives, diverse cultures, diverse ideas. That's what makes us better. I've never been in a work environment where people are just so devoted to your development and what's next for you in your life, whether it be personal or professional. What our cool interns have to say, and what kind of roles would you be looking for in um, LinkedIn? Right. Um, obviously, LinkedIn is also a tech company. So within tech, 
we're talking about building applications as a software engineer. Full stack is where you work on both front end and back end. Back end is stuff that you don't see. Front end, of course, is your user experience, user interface, all that good stuff. But a lot goes behind the scenes, right? Um, so data, site reliability engineering, artificial intelligence, machine learning. Um, we do a lot of stuff there as well. Um, and just having the volume of users or members at the, as we call them and see where their interests lie and what uh, they like doing. We collect a lot of data science to be able to create better products. Um, that are more useful to members, right? Um, and why um, do you need a LinkedIn profile? So you have your own brand that you want to uh, show on LinkedIn, right? Your brand is your promise to those around you. It tells people what can they expect from working with you and around you, right? And the way you shape your brand is the way you present yourself to the others. And it also shows that you're the right choice in terms of the skills um, with your work experience, your school and specific skills you learned outside. Definitely your network, um, how you are to be around with and work with and uh, told by the people you know, right? And also your areas of information and expertise and wisdom. So today we're gonna go a little bit deeper into creating your profile on LinkedIn. Um, and um, I'm going to go over section. So, you know, if you want to take notes, this will be great. Your profile is your story of creating your brand. So the first thing you do, I'm assuming most of you have, um, you know, your LinkedIn profiles already. Um, one, you would add a photo. We've seen a lot more, um, you know, engagement, connection requests, profile views, messages with a member that has a photo, right? Um, you definitely want to take a professional mugshot, um, looking your best, um, and uh, put it out there. Um, the next thing you can also do is record your name. Um, you know, we all come from diverse backgrounds. Uh, we spell our name differently and pronounce it differently. So you can do it um, as easy on your mobile phone as well. Um, one really cool feature that we introduced very lately was adding your pronouns. I go by she and her, and um, it's really important for people to be referred by how um, they need to be, um, you know, addressed as. Right again, this is optional, but um, it definitely shows respect, and um, we love it when we see it there as well. Then the next step would be to create your own cover story. You could record a video or you can just provide a written intro, share your story, highlight your goals. This definitely helps you find your job um, and share your expertise or just grow your following. Um, as a recruiter, when I connect to people, I do find something in common that I can write to. Um, so this is where you can put that stuff. And then add your industry. Um, industry, when I say if you come from a retail background or uh, if you're interested in tech, um, all that good stuff. So in, um, industry is a good way to see that. And most importantly, when you're looking um, you know, for a new job, show you're open to work. Um, you can check you know, what kind of roles you're looking for. It could be a temporary internship. It could be full-time if it's remote, um, you know, and the location, the titles you're looking for. Um, and this goes a long way, especially to be noticed by recruiters. And your summary itself. Um, this is not a resume. So profile is very different from your resume itself. Um, a summary is the most important piece that everybody reads on your profile, even if they wouldn't go all the way down, right? It's your elevator pitch, about 40 words, uh, career aspirations or accomplishments is what you would put here. Featured content could be posts you share, posts you create, um, something that really matters to you, um, that you're proud of, right? Um, Again, um, you could pick posts and make them your featured content as well. And then we come to your work experience. Um, so do list um, every experience you'll be, um, you've been part of, even if it's a volunteer opportunity, um, something you did at school, um, you know, outside of work with peers, um, all that good stuff as well. Now, creative mode is a pretty new uh, product that we've introduced at LinkedIn, um, especially with um, the new gen. Uh, we've realized that um, you really like to put 
fun stuff out there, right? So it helps you reach a larger audience, showcase content front and center, and uh, exclusive access to creator tips as well, right? So moving on to what um, you know a successful early career professional would do on LinkedIn. So the first thing would be to connect. Um, make professional relationships, research and maintain a network. Um, people on LinkedIn are fairly nice. Uh, if you reach out to the right that message and tell them why you're looking to connect, uh, you know, they'll definitely accept and you never know in the long run, um, you know, how it would be beneficial to you. Um, gain professional insights, follow industry trends or follow research companies, um, you know, follow uh, career paths, right? What's trending, what's not, look at jobs, all that good stuff. And maintain your self profile, uh, which means you add your skills, add your experience as you go and all of that. Um, Another really important part of uh, LinkedIn is a LinkedIn learning. You get a lot of self-paced online courses um, that also, um, you know, offer certifications that you can, uh, you know, learn on LinkedIn. But the goal is prioritize learning over winning, right? Um, learning is one of the biggest things that can sustain a career. We all need to be um, adapting to what's out there. So be curious, take intelligence risks, and remember, it's not a marathon, it's a sprint. So slow and steady. And uh, what you should not do, right? Um, so definitely set boundaries on balance, um, absorb feedback and apply it constructively. Um, you know, uh, if you're not getting the jobs you're really looking for, uh, there might be a reason for that. Uh, definitely connect with professionals and ask them what to do better. Um, avoid burnout and resentment. Um, you don't want to be overly engaged and um, burn out as well. And again, stay aligned with both your goals and your failures uh, and your values, right? And don't be afraid of failure. That's only, um, you know, telling you there's a different path to take. Most importantly, be nice on online media, right? What's uh, What goes on online media stays on online media. Um, so people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel and treat everyone with the same respect that you would expect for yourself and definitely foster relationships relationships and interests outside of work as well. We do have a lot of resources for early career professionals here at LinkedIn. Um, I can share some of these details with you uh, via chat as well or during the question and answer session. This is where to look for internships. Um, LinkedIn Reach is our internship program. It's a multi-year program where um, you could be in school and still be um, you know, doing internships self-based. Um, LinkedIn Learning for students is a tool um, that we offer as well. Um, and of course, internships at LinkedIn, the Europe program, which allows you a stipend while, um, you know, you're employed with them as well. And how to get into a big tech company someday. Uh, like I said, the Europe program, definitely research that, look up into it and see where your interests lie. The REACH internship, is um, you know um, something that LinkedIn offers to intern with us as well. And definitely look up summer internship jobs on LinkedIn itself with other companies. That brings me to the end of my presentation. I'm opening the floor to any questions and answers, anything on something I said or something you had in mind and I didn't say. So let me ask, what were you looking for when you came to this presentation? Hey students, um, feel free to type it in the chat. Well, I have a question. What's it like working at LinkedIn? Oh, I love it. Um, you know, I don't know how many of you look up company cultures online, um, but 
LinkedIn culture is our biggest differentiator. Um, we're a pretty much bottoms up culture, which means that we believe in hiring smart people to make smart decisions, right? And what's also important for um, smart people to do the right thing is good leadership. And we've been very lucky to have founders and CEOs that are influencers in their own sense. Um, our leadership um, nurtures that open collaborative team culture where every idea is heard, um, every idea has a chance to be debated upon. Um, and stuff like that. So, and um, one of our biggest programs that we have is called Culture of Transformation, um, which basically every LinkedIn employee is part of, which intends to transforming you into being better than when you joined LinkedIn, right? So growth opportunities, learn, learning opportunities, all that good stuff. Um, so I do see a couple of questions in the chat. Um, Regina, Mary, um, sorry if I got your name wrong, but um, resume building um, is cool, um, but it also depends on what kind of role you're looking for, right? Um, if you're in your early career, um, you're open to a bunch of different things. I would say a profile is a better way to build that because you get to add a lot more skills um, on your LinkedIn profile itself mm -hmm. rather than listing out um you know what you worked on and what you have hands-on experience with um you know um you also said i really knew did not know how to include or what to include or how to talk about myself and things of the like um as long as it can stay professional right um we want to see why you're unique right it doesn't have to be um let's say you're applying to a developer role we don't want to just see the coding languages you're familiar with where do your interests lie outside um you could be a pro gamer right um you could really like soccer and stuff like that that adds a different dimension to you and linkedin is a platform where we encourage you to bring your authentic self right we um encourage successes we also talk about failures and how um you've come out of it and become successful today um, so absolutely, um, you should write about yourself. What do you think makes you, you? Do you think we should make a LinkedIn early as in when you're school? Is, is that the question? Um, how old? It doesn't really matter. I know kids in middle school um, that have LinkedIn, right? It's any other social media for that matter, right? Um, you could be doing internship, you could be doing volunteer stuff while you're in high school. And that adds value too. Um, I am not really sure, um, you know, how many of you are still in the application stage, um, you know, to colleges, that goes a long way too, right? Volunteer opportunities that you've done, um, all that good stuff. And there's also a way to get to volunteer opportunities through LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn is not always about paid jobs. We have LinkedIn for Good that allows you to, um, you know, volunteer at nonprofits and such. So there's no age limit. As old as you think you want to be able to network. You, you should, you, <laughs> I wouldn't say should, you totally could have one if you're a student. It's never too late. And while you're uh, prepping for what courses to take in college, right? Um, it's great to research companies, what's trending, what skills are trending, right? Um, not all of you might want to go into tech, um, even if you want to go into, um, let's say, design. Right. Um, there's a lot to learn from LinkedIn learning as well as see what jobs are trending and um, see what's the best fit for you in the long run. Did I answer your question? Okay. I still have seven minutes. Any more questions? How many of you have a LinkedIn profile? Maybe raise hands. No, unfortunately I don't hear you. I think you're muted. I have one. Sure.
Absolutely. Go ahead and create one. Huh. I will check on that, but I don't think you have to be 18 to create a profile. I will definitely check on that. And um, in terms of resources, let me thank you, the resources that we have. So this is something you can take home. Yeah, feel free to reach out to me. Um, you know, I am gonna give you my official email or any questions you might have after this session, I'll be more than happy to help you. I think I did ask um, how many of you have a LinkedIn profile. I'm guessing the answer is no one. So let's see, let's uh, change that up a little. How many of you are going to get a LinkedIn profile by the end of this week? Wonderful, that's, that's great to know. Yeah, and while you're at it, uh, if you need um, more help on how to create your profile, all that good stuff, I, I can definitely help. I can send you resources or walk you through it as well. Feel free to email me and I'll book time um, to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, volunteer opportunities at LinkedIn. Yes, every company has volunteer opportunities. There are a lot of nonprofits um, that offer volunteer opportunities. I believe it's called LinkedIn for Good. Um, organization specific, yes. But you could also say you're open to volunteer opportunities when you create your own profile. And that'll uh, be a way where people will find you and approach you. And then you can pick the right opportunity that works for you as well. LinkedIn for good. Let's see. Any other questions for me? How many of you have any social media account? Insta, TikTok, Facebook. Come on now. I know you guys are lying. <laughs> yeah, personal ones are cool. Personal ones are cool as well, but there's only that level of engagement. And, um, you know, one thing, one really cool thing about LinkedIn is you really don't have to know the person you're connecting to, right? You can reach out with a request to connect for prospective networking, right? Um, I will absolutely accept a request when it comes to me because I know they're coming to me for a reason. It could be for a job at LinkedIn, but um, I've been recruiting for 14 years in different industries. So I can definitely give them advice when it comes to not just career moves, but let's say what's trending in terms of skills or um, you know, even college apps and stuff like that, absolutely. Anything that you want to share? Anything that is a takeaway from today's session? Thank you, Regina. You have a good night too. Yeah, we could call it a wrap. Um, again, you have my email. Um, I'd really, really love to see you guys create LinkedIn profiles and send me a connection request. And please mention in the request that, you know, you did it because of this session and that'll make me super proud.
Thank you for attending. I really hope um, this was some good insight into how you can develop your professional career and connecting is truly important. Um, you know, the world has been different the past couple of years with all this remote work and stuff like that, but LinkedIn has been a great opportunity. We've been, we've been able to keep in touch still, not just with our peers and people we know, but be able to broaden our horizons when it comes to what's going on out there in the professional world. Right. So um, stay there. Um, we have LinkedIn news feed um, where trending companies, um, you know, all that stuff is uh, encouraged as well. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, PB. Thank you, Tracy, for speaking to students today. Thank you, Lena, for this opportunity. This is really um, great. Like I said in the beginning of my conversation, um, today's students are tomorrow's workforce, right? Mm -hmm. um, it, it really um, is great to connect. I wish it was a little more <laughs> interactive, but it is uh, great being able to present what LinkedIn can do. Um,